Hey there! Welcome to the Overcomers of Real Ass Lounge Podcast. I am B, your host. Hey, this is episode 10, the last episode of season 15 of my podcast. Hey, so welcome to all of my listeners out there. Hey, it is always great to share this experience with you. Hey, as usual, I will be starting off this podcast episode with what I call the music message moment. And man, do I have one for you today that is appropriate for this holiday season. You know, as always, I just believe that music is the universal language of the world. And if you listen very closely, it will touch you in a way that will carry you through this life with joy and a little bit wiser. So, now I do not own the copyright to this song. Hey, it is used for life-changing purposes only. So, my listening friends, please, please sit back and join me and listen and get the message out of this song. Hey, it is so related to this podcast episode. I will be right back with you guys right after the song. Hey, sit back and enjoy. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water Mary did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters did you know that your baby time I hear it, it just touches my heart and spirit in such a way. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I had to reach and get the tissue. (laughs) It just does something to my spirit and heart every time I hear it. So I really hope in some way that that song touched your heart and your spirit in a very, very powerful way. Now, let's get started. I just want to put this out there right from the beginning, as usual. This podcast is not only pertaining to relapse as far as drugs, alcohol, or any other addictions. No, no, no. We are open to all topics. However, our main topic is why do we have addictive behaviors and how can we overcome them? 
on episode 10, the final episode of season 15, I would like to use for a topic. Do you celebrate Christmas? <laughs> Let me say that again, my listening friends. I said, do you celebrate Christmas? Now, my listening friends, you know, we are approaching the holiday season, which me personally, I hope everyone, and I do mean everyone, have a great Christmas. But my listening friends, I do have a question. What does Christmas really mean to you? I mean, what does it really mean to you? Mm, let's take a quick look at the definition of Christmas. Now, Christmas in simple words is defined as celebrating on the 25th of December. It is a holiday to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, who according to the Christian religion is the Son of God. The name is joining of Christ and Mass, which means the Holy Mass. The Holy Mass, the Holy Mass Supper, Celebration, or Festival of Christ. Now, my listening friends, hey, I can only personally speak from what I as a child and have accepted to believe all my life. And that is, according to the foundation of our country, the United States of America, this definition is truly, truly the meaning of why this day was established to begin with. Christmas, I mean the real Christmas, the birthday of Jesus Christ. So tell me, my listening friends, please explain to me, why is this no longer the priority of this date? <laughs> I mean, my listening friends, do you know, this is something I just recently found out. Do you know that there are some churches that are closed this year on December the 25th because Christmas is on Sunday? <laughs> I mean, wow. Now, some of them are having virtual service, but the physical location is closed. Now, my listening friends, this is just my personal opinion. If any place should be open physically on Christmas Day is churches. <laughs> My listening friends, hey, I'll tell you one thing. I can guarantee you this. Other establishments in our country will definitely be open. And you know what I'm talking about. Bars, clubs, liquor stores, and I can guarantee you that you will also be able to find some way, somehow, to make a drug purchase on this day also with very little effort. <laughs> so, come on my listening breeze. Please, please explain to me why on December the 25th, which whom the party is supposed to be about, which is Jesus Christ, that what we consider in a religious form, why would it be closed? <laughs> now, please, please, my listening friends, do not get upset with me. I am just at a total loss here. Um, I mean, how would you feel, ask yourself this question, how would you feel if it was your birthday? And people are celebrating in every kind of way there was, and you was completely ignored as if you did not exist. <laughs> My listening friends, I am not, please trust me when I tell you this, I am not trying to offend anyone or make someone believe like me or bring anyone excitement down about celebrating Christmas. However, tell me, what are we really celebrating here these days? You see, my listening friends, 
and this is just my opinion, like I always say, we have become a society of just materialistic consumption. All we think about is our own selfish wants and what we would like to generalize. This is what we're doing these days. We would like to generalize the meaning of a very special day and place it, place the meaning to our own greed motives. And society accepts that we missed a really, really big picture here. We miss the big picture of what we should truly, truly be celebrating. Hey, which <laughs> far as, like I said, far as since the time I've grown up, our country is it's supposed to be built on this, which leaves our nation in a total, total act of dysfunction, spiritually and with a false mindset of what this special day really means. And this special day, what it really means is that it is not about you. It is about him, Jesus Christ. Now, wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold up. Now, don't get mad with me. I am not saying that we should not share this holiday, you know, with friends and loved ones and show our love by exchanging gifts and presents and, you know, just being present with each other. But my listening friends, my point is, this is not the priority of this special day. My listening friends, this is just my opinion. We have been tricked. We have been tricked, deceived into believing. So you may want to take the time out and ask the question, What's the motive behind this deceit that is all over our total nation? What really is behind the motive behind this crazy deceit that the majority of the, the, the majority of society falls upon? Them? Hey, what was that? I'm sorry. What did you ask me? Oh. And you say, what do you think is the motive for this deceit, D? <laughs> I am so glad that you asked. <laughs> See, my listening friends, hey, and this is just my opinion. I think man has turned himself so far away from God where it is not difficult at all to deceive him by materialistic wants and only think of self actions. Their own self motives, their own sex actions, your own self pleasing. My listening friends, these are influences of Satan. Hey, let's be honest here. Which nowadays, to be honest with you, Satan could practically be standing right in front of most of us. And we would not even notice him for who he truly is. <laughs> hey, what makes it even worse, we accept him as our friend. And as long as we get what we want, most of us don't really care. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Just corrupt influences. I mean, let's really think about this. Our country is supposed to already be already or at least heading toward a very high inflation problem. Now, my listening friends, when you think that if we had the right motives for people, if the nation really had the right motives and concerns for our people in this nation, we would be more concerned about influencing people to celebrate this special day in a conservative way and the true meaning of it. I mean the true meaning of it with love, not just pushing, pushing, pushing to buy big major purchases. We will be pushing for people to celebrate it with family and friends and make people really get the understanding of this important great day. 
and celebrating this great day for its original meaning. Not what we're doing nowadays. Not this false belief of what this day was not made for. And this day was not made for you to just sell, sell, sell. And make the richer richer and put you more in debt and make your financial situation more difficult than they already are while their pockets are getting richer and richer. <laughs> My listening friends, the more I thought about this, just listen to me very carefully here. The more I thought about this, I really sat down and just asked myself the question. Do people really celebrate Christmas or celebrate the Christmas that is now on the new horizon. Just in case someone did not catch the new meaning of the new Christmas on the horizon that most of us are celebrating now, <laughs> as usual, you know me, I broke it down. So let me break this down for you. Are you ready? Pay close attention, because here it is. See, now Christmas, this is what it means now. See, is for commercializing. H is for holiday. R is for really. I is for is. S is for strategizing. T is for two. M is for make. And A is for Americans. And S is for spend more money to gain riches and greed for the wicked. And put the less fortunate Americans more in debt than they already are. <laughs> you get it? That's Christmas nowadays. C for commercializing. H for holiday. R for really. I is for is. S is for strategizing. T is for two. M is for make. A is for Americans. And S is for the spin more money to gain their riches and for their greed for the wicked and put lesser fortunate Americans in more debt than they already are. <laughs> I hope you really got that. If not, play the podcast over and over again till you catch on. That, my friend, hey, I hate to break it to you, is the new Christmas for most people who celebrate it now. And to be honest with you, it just does not take much of any effort for the greed and the wicked to deceive most of us anymore. <laughs> hey, my listening friends, please, please do not get offended. That is definitely not my intent here. This is just my personal opinion. What I see going on in our society today, hey, to be honest with you, it has been going on for a while. So, my listening friends, I have a question. Do you celebrate Christmas or do you celebrate the false idea of Christmas that was created for the rich and the greedy? Their wicked personal gain. Hey, hold up. Don't get mad at me. Like I said, this is just my personal opinion. What you do, there is no judgment here. However, for me personally, I will always, always celebrate what the true meaning of this special day means. Hey, because in my opinion, far as I am concerned, without Christ, in Christmas, all you have is a crisis mess and not a Christmas, not a true Christmas. <laughs> I hope you get the point I am trying to make. And like I said, if you didn't catch it the first time, play the podcast again. Hey, my listening friends, please, please celebrate the true Christmas. Choose wisely, my friends. Oh, a Merry Christmas. The true and real meaning of Christmas is what I wish you. Stay blessed. Well, 
that's it for episode 10 the final episode of season 15 and my listening friends i will be ending this podcast episode with a very very special song that is so related to the podcast that i just completed so please my listening friends please stay tuned to the very end of the podcast to listen to this song it is a great song and it's so identified with what i just spoke about hey my listening friends please visit my website the overcomers of relapse lounge it is posted on the screen hey my listening friends feel free to post on blog share any of your thoughts and also feel free to chat with me all of my contact information is on there also so feel free just to reach out along with a lot of great music that you can just sit back and enjoy also my listening friends come join me on my facebook group called the overcomers of relapse lounge hey i'm telling you we have a lot of great inspiring posters and just a great great group of people to chat with in our chat room and my listening friends don't forget to listen and send in those questions for the ask and be segments hey it is always my pleasure to serve in any way that I can. Hey, just let me know your opinions and thoughts. Thanks again for joining me and my listening friends. Take care. Have a wonderful holiday. And I will see you in the new year. I hope that you will join me in 2023. Take care of yourselves out there. Bye-bye. Let's make some noise in this place! Oh, this one, I'm the pro. Get up on your feet tonight.